What's up guys, Jonathan Buckhouse here, and today I'm with Michael, the ski doctor. What's going on guys? And today he's gonna teach us how to wax our snowboards. You're gonna need um, some base cleaner to start with. You're gonna need a rag to kind of wipe the base out, get to the debris out, and uh, of course an iron, and some wax. I tend to stick with pearl wax because they're eco-friendly, and they just make great products. Love it. All this equipment that you could, you could ever need is right there on pearlwax.com, so check them out. And I'm gonna show you how to rock the board. Hi right, Michael, so what's the first step to waxing your board? So the first step is get your base all prepped, get it cleaned out nice and uh, dry, and so it can absorb the wax and, and stay in there for a while. So they spray that on right there, and then uh, take a napkin or a washcloth and just kind of rub it in there, get some of the dirt and debris out. And then before you wax the board, it's important to just let this evaporate out. So you want the board and the base to be dry as possible before you put the wax in. Just make sure once that uh, base cleaner is all the way evaporated out of the board and it just looks real dry and also feels dry. And then just melt the wax. You don't want to put too, too much. You can always add more. The more you put, the more you're going to have to scrape. So. Save yourself some time by just kind of gently putting it in there and then, you know, I'll show you as I go, but just don't keep the iron in one spot and temperature is also important too with uh, what temp your iron's at. So how do I know which wax to use? Well, there's charts, um, different charts and cold temp waxes and whatnot. Um, it's just important to kind of look at the forecast and see what it's going to be the next few days out and you can judge based off of that. And right now we're doing the all temp wax because it's roughly, I don't know, 30 degrees. Seems to be every day out here in Colorado, so kind of stick with that for now. But in those colder days and when those cold fronts come in, get a harder wax, something that will last a little bit longer. So what's the difference between a household iron and a waxing iron? Oh, okay. <laughs> if you use a household iron, it might work and there's plenty of people I know that do that, but it's got holes so that wax just goes right into that thing, clogs it up. This is just a flat surface, no holes, no steam, no mess, just gets it right into the base. We're gonna set this puppy aside and let it sit for a while. Uh, if you're doing this at home, I recommend setting it for at least three to six hours if you can all night and then uh, scrape it, get it ready. Oh, for snowboards, I use the big stick uh, scraper just because it gets almost the full length of the board. It makes it a little easier. <laughs> when you scrape the board, you definitely want to get all the wax off. It's time to buff it out. You use some elbow grease, get a little scotch bright pad. You don't want something too abrasive. Just kind of go back and forth and go with the direction of the board. Don't go side to side or up and down, I mean. Just with the board. So that does a pretty good job, um, but I like to do things a little bit better than pretty good, so I get this bad boy right here. Buff it out.
where you've missed. Uh, it kind of gives some shine to the board, so if you've missed somewhere uh, that you haven't scraped, you can see that a little bit clearer and just take it out and then buff it out again. It's starting to look pretty good right there. She's done. Yep, she's ready. Go shred. It's that easy, guys. I'm also gonna link all of the tools that Michael uses in the description. All right, guys, so Michael is the ski doctor. Basically, think of Michael as like 911 for your board. If you're headed to the mountain, forgot to tune it up, give Michael a call, he'll show up, tune you all up. Or if you're coming on to vacation out to Summit County, he'll roll up right to your condo, tune up all of your gear, all of the kids' gear, just right in the truck, you guys just keep having dinner or whatever. Michael is the man. I'm gonna link all of Michael's stuff in the description. Super stoked that he gave us all that knowledge which is kind of counterproductive for him because now all of you know how to wax your own board. But once again, you can always hit up Michael if you forget and you're on your way to the mountain. Big shout out to Pearl Wax too for not only hooking Michael up, but they hooked us up with some of our own wax. So we're gonna link their stuff in the description as well. Hit up that local wax that's eco-friendly. If you guys did like this video though, make sure you give it a thumbs up, a share, and subscribe to the channel because we're making super dope, awesome snowboard videos daily. We make a daily vlog five days a week and then we pump out a bunch of fun, just random content like this, like how to wax your snowboard. Guys, if you wanna get any of our Evolution merch, that'll also be linked in the description. And as always, thanks for watching, keep evolving, and we'll see you next time. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life ain't frozen, feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion, yeah. Mama told me I'ma be somebody. I ain't never gonna need nobody, no, no. I ain't never gonna need nobody, no cliff.